Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Błażej Kubacki from NSKN Games and Paladin Card Protection. I'm going to start this video with pouring a glass of water. And after the glass of water is poured, maybe a little bit more, I'm going to actually take a card protected by a paladin's sleeve and stick it right in there. Okay? Now, what you see here is a deck of cards again protected by paladins. This is CCG poker size, so again these are Percival type of sleeves. I was asked if the, card, the cards don't stick. Well, they don't, and I'm going to very quickly give you this most basic shuffle to show you that they go in pretty easily, actually. Now, the problem is I'm not a really good shuffler, but maybe this is actually good for this video because it's even easier to actually botch something up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this in the middle and I'm going to shuffle them the way you're always told never to shuffle sleeved cards. So like this. And then it goes together pretty well. I'm going to actually try to attempt a side shuffle. So like this. Well, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a really good shuffler. But the point of this exercise is to take the sleeves to the test. As you can see, there is no damage. I'm going to actually do again the type of shuffle people tell you. Never shuffle sleeved cards like this. And I will. And I will again put them together. So as you can see, that is not really a problem. Someone also asked what happens if you try to sleeve carelessly. So, well, you've seen the strength of the binding. Looks like nothing is happening. So you can sleeve the card, the sides don't split. Okay, let's go back to the card that is inside uh, the water. I'm going to take it out now. I'm going to be quite cautious about taking it out. I took it out. And as you can see, there is no water damage on the card. The card is intact. In fact, just to reassure you, I'm going to put it back in the sleeve, put it back inside, still for a moment, take it out again, and yes, this the water is dripping, take it out, no water damage. Now, <clears throat> one last thing is a bit of tea. You've seen me pour it from a kettle, but is this water really hot? Well, let's actually see if it is. How about that? We're actually making tea. Now, I've been also asked about the possibility of the paladins, of something happening to the paladin card protectors when it's really hot. It's quite hard for room temperature to get hotter than the water I used for tea. It was boiling right before I started filming this, and as you can see now, I have a glass of tea. Now, probably you're asking one more question. Last time you cut and ate a tomato. Are you going to drink the tea? And the answer is not really, because I don't really like tea that much. Now, I hope this shows you the dur durability of paladins once again, and um, hope to see you soon again. Bye!